Science Corner with Constantine. Hello and welcome to a Science Corner Lab update. So last week I did some microbiology labs with potatoes and with my sourdough starters. So I just want to show you the progress of those. So it's been a quite a few days and I'm going to show you what my potatoes look like and what my sourdough looks like. All right, so these are my potatoes. They are looking very delicious, but gross. So this is my control. My control has gotten kind of moldy. So that's showing me that like there's mold in the air and the potato is starting to get moldy. And my hand actually didn't have that much bacteria on it. You can see there's a colony. So there's a colony that has some orange on it. Um, this one, I believe, is the sink water. Got a little moldy. Had a little growth, but look at the puddle. There is so much bacteria on here. Everything shiny is bacteria. So we've got some yellow bacteria and some orange bacteria. The puddle had a lot in it. This is the pond, which had a lot of orange bacteria as well. It also has some fuzzy bacteria. It's hard to tell what's fuzzy bacteria and what's mold, but it looks like it's got a lot on there. So Overall, this is really cool. I think this is basically what I would have seen if I had grown it in a regular Petri plate. So that's awesome. And now I definitely have to throw it away. It's really gross. So now I'm going to show you how to feed the sourdough starter. Um, so this is what one of mine looks like right now. It's really frothy and bubbly, so I know it's active. But it smells like dirty gym socks. So if you want to feed it to keep it going because... Right now, it's still pretty young. It doesn't have the full bacteria and yeast community that we need for the bread. Um, you're gonna take out half of it, and then you're gonna fill the other half with fresh flour and water. It might clog your sink, so you wanna throw the half of it in the garbage. You're just gonna scoop it out. So you throw half of it away. You get fresh flour and fresh water sort of refresh it and feed it. There's a fresh spoonful of yeast. And some fresh water. So now I'm gonna stir it up. And this has been fed. You do it like once or twice a day. And then hopefully it'll keep growing so I can use it to bake bread. All right, so that's the one I just fed. These are the other two. It looks like they're getting really kind of frothy and bubbly and this one too. Oh, look at all those bubbles. So I'm going to feed these too and hopefully in a few days they'll be ready to make bread.